Oh, hey. I did not see you come in. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is Subtronics, um, and I figured out a trick the other day uh, to make some really wet-sounding, gnarly, fucking, but skrillex I guess, kill the noise type um, growly formant Reese wet noises uh, that could be great for using in glitch hop, neuro bass, uh, dubstep, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and it basically came about with me trying to make a sub line for this. I was trying to trying to make a sub audio um, to go along with that. Uh, and so I tried a whole bunch of different things, um, but none of them were really working. So I had the idea to have an external to the vocoder send it to a subwoofer MIDI lane um, and thinking that basically when the audio triggers the external vocoder it will play subwoofer notes um, at whatever MIDI notes I program triggered by the audio sample and so I figured this shouldn't, there's no reason why it shouldn't work out so I'll plug in some MIDI notes according to the baseline and you know I'll just uh, resample the sound and I'll get something along these lines um, but when I did that that's not a, at all what happened it made a really weird growly noise um, and I will show you what I mean and it's not making any noise because it's solo and I'm an idiot hold on I don't know why it's not making noise. Oh, I'm a dumb person. It's way too high up. So, oh, <laughs> it wasn't routed to it. Um, so yeah, if I route it to the subwoofer, <laughs> do I need to explain myself further? Fucking listen to this thing. Yeah, so that's basically the sound you get. So I'll kind of show you how I made this and you just ride it to a subwoofer via vocoder um, and you get that really fucking disgusting ass wet sound. Um, so how I made this, um, it's actually kind of interesting. It's a trick I learned from Recoil um, and it's basically a simple delay trick actually. Now I start with a patch like this. Just a basic fucking wobble um, I made with the operator. Uh, I don't know if you want to copy it exactly, but it's basically just some FM miss and an amp to distort it and make it and let the grittiness of the high end punch through. Um, and then from there, um, the trick that is very unknown, I guess, is a simple delay. And this is something I know DJasta Recoil, Baron, the people that use really heavy metallic type wobbles do this. Um, you basically set the simple delay to time and make it really short and it adds a weird phasing effect and I know you massive kids love phase modulation and this is kinda like the same thing and basically you hear a really cool <coughs> metallic -y, harmonic high pitchedness and if you play around with it long enough, you get something that sounds kind of like this. You know, and you can see, this is resampled, but I mean, I continued to process it with a saturator, EQ, stuff like that. Um, so, you get something like that. Um, 
and then you run it through the vocoder trick. And you get fucking noises like that, which are absolutely insane, in my opinion. So you can go ahead and resample that sound. Actually, you know what? Fuck resampling. You don't even have to. Um, just process this, you know? Fucking distort it. Put an amp on it. Amps are great. It actually takes a lot. A lot of the bass out, which I don't like. And then really just process it further, and you get some crazy noises, and it's totally worth it. And since you guys were good and you sat through this whole video, I will show you a quick little preview of something I've been working on, you know? Uh, hold on, listen to this. That would be how you make some crazy ass growls with an external vocoder routed to a subwoofer. And why it works, I don't know, but it does, and it sounds really cool. Yep, that's it. Have a lovely day.